Okay, so one of the things that frustrates me so much is, is that my older son, Cypher, has been online schooled since like preschool. He did go to an actual Head Start daycare like thing that didn't work out, but mostly because I had to work a lot. Anyway, I just don't think that people should judge me for wanting to online school him because they think that he would that children benefit more from public school. I mean, that's your opinion. I mean, I know a lot of parents don't feel like they can adequately do online school or homeschooling. I personally don't feel adequate at doing homeschooling, which is why I chose online school, because I wanted to do homeschool. But I know <coughs> me well enough to know I'm not organized enough to plan and make sure that he's able to do it. That's why I need the online system to help me create that structure that I need to make sure that he learns everything he needs to learn and is aware at where he needs to be at. However... No one ever seems to accept this as a reasonable thing. It's something I want to do that makes it okay as for my family. I, everyone has to decide what's right for their family. What upsets me is, is that everyone else wants to have an opinion in my life and what's best for me and my child. I mean, yes, I'm stressed. Yes, I don't have time for myself a lot. But so is everyone else. And I even if I send him to public school, because of some of the problems that you know he's had before, things like that, I'm sure they would be criticizing me just as much for sending them to public school as they are for doing online so what's the point in getting on to me because i'm not doing things your way because you feel like i should because this is what everyone else does it's really annoying because it's not if it's not your life you shouldn't have an opinion and if you do have an opinion keep it to your damn self so what the problem i have is is that you know no one's ever wanted to accept it and no matter how much i try to explain to him that i feel like it's what's best for me and what's best for him and it's something i've wanted to do since before i even had children i've been looking into it since he was two the only thing that they want to accept is whenever whenever i point out that he's been diagnosed with things like odd and adhd and that he has sensory overload issues and super separation anxiety abandonment issues and all these other things and i'm like oh yeah you're right it probably is best that you keep him home but they won't accept it as just something that I want to do. And then other people won't even accept that as a thing. They're just like, oh, no, he, he would, he'd would he have to get over it if he went to public school. He would have to. I'm like, no, he wouldn't have to. I went to public school and I never did. I'm still defiant. I still can't focus. My friends are still either way older than me or way younger. I don't get along with people my own age. Um, I still have sensory problems. I never outgrew it. I mean, as I age, I learned how to handle it better, but he's doing that just fine on his own. He's learning to handle it just like I did, and he hasn't been to public school. Public school didn't help me with that. It made it worse. I just figured out how to deal with it on my own while I was at home. So, I don't understand why these people think that they have a say in my life. This is my life, not yours. This is my family, not yours. My kids are fed. They're happy. They're well taken care of. I'm a good mom. He's where he's at needs to be. He's been on a roll since freaking kindergarten every quarter so what does it matter how i want to teach them why do you think that you have a right to tell me how to live my life or how to parent my children or how to what's best for my kid you don't even know my situation so if you don't know the situation and you aren't living it and it has that by the way me choosing to online my school has zero zero impact on anyone's life but mine and my child's then you should have zero zero opinion and if you do have an opinion, because you think you know what's best for everyone on the planet, like everyone seems to think they do nowadays, because, oh, oh, no, I believe this is wrong, and therefore it's just wrong, and it has to be outlawed, or, no, 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 I believe it's right, so everyone should be forced to do it. That's how the world is today, and it's really freaking stupid. So, but again, not your life has zero impact on you, so stay the fuck out of it, okay? <laughs> I know I've been a little aggressive lately, but I just feel like I need to say it. And since, you know, initially this channel was for me and my therapeutic purposes, and it still is overall, I feel like it needed to be said. So just stay out of it. Mind your own damn business. Because honestly, I ain't got time for your opinions. Your opinions and your beliefs and what you think is right or wrong is your problem, not mine. So... I like to teach my kid love and compassion here at home and that uh, he needs to stay mind his own business. Somebody else doing something he doesn't understand or approve of, he can ask them why. He can talk to them. He can have a civilized discussion. 
But he also knows that you don't push your beliefs or what you think is right on other people because that is wrong. I respect your right to disagree with me. I respect your right to have different beliefs. I just want you to afford me the same compassion and I don't think that's too much to ask. We don't always have to understand each other, but that's why we can ask why or try to un have a conversation and understand. Just give me that same compassion, please. Thank you. Now go out and spread the love, because love always wins.